Would you rather deal with a married man that never tells you no, or your own man that tells you no 45% of the time? No, I'm dealing with the married man. Nah, I take the married dude. I'm sorry. I'm f***ing with the married man. Uh, married. I'm sorry. Tell me yes. Every day. Oh, the married man. Yeah, give me him. I would deal with my man that tell me no because I'm going to beat him the f*** up. He's taking the married guy because why am I with you? You keep saying no for her. Okay, I'm gonna go with the married guy. I don't like the word no, so. A married man. Marry me. The married man. The married man. You're my little secret. My own guy that tell me no 45% of the time. A married man. Do a married man because nine times out of ten we sure need Anyway, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to take the married man. Like, <laughs> why? I need to be told no sometimes. You can't always get what you want. Well, well, thank you, sister. Bro, I can't believe all them females said the married man. Trifling, son. Trifling. bunch of grown ass kids cuz I don't want to hear the word no sometimes the word no could save your life sometimes the word no could create a better opportunity later on should make me sick just now let's get a video you got my first Karen <laughs> my first Karen I know I'm walking your house it's amazing I know it's amazing <laughs> and I'm going to report you I'm not going to report this to the to the owner because this is too much you want to do this all the time Free. So if you don't want people to come in, don't write entrance. Why do you need music so much? Wait, what? Because you guys have been doing Wait, 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 wait. That's her excuse? She said, if you don't want people to come in, don't write entrance. That's your excuse for randomly walking into somebody's house? Doing this all the time. Hey, you know, you could have just not on the door and the doorbell. We would have turned it Oh, no, no, no. We did. We did. You guys didn't hear it. And that was the direction you chose to take us. Thank well, you. Have a great night. You What's your name? Which house is yours, Miss Trespasser? <laughs> you guys should follow her to her we house. We did. <clears throat> See which lady this is. BMW. Ooh! She's got a beamer. We can get the plates. Let's see. Got him. Time out, bro. Time out. She ain't even the next door neighbor. She's not even the next door neighbor. She had to get in her car to go wherever the hell she need to go. So which means her house is down the block. All right, I think this, I was trying not to light it, but I think this one, this one, I had a neighbor like something like this, but she wasn't, she didn't just walk into the crib. She used to like complain about, are you guys cooking? Ooh, I don't know what seasoning you guys are using, but it's, ooh, my lungs are hurting and I, it's coming through the vents. It's coming all, all through the vents. Are you guys washing clothes? Yeah, I don't... What detergent are you guys using? It's, 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 oh, I can hear the laundry. I can just hear the washing machine just moving. Is there something wrong with the washing machine? It's, why, why does it sound so loud? We have one of them neighbors, bro. I feel as though... That was part of the reason that my wife wanted to sell the condo so bad. Because she could she got tired of that shit. I was gonna get this place, but not now. Bro, she cutting her nails on on the food? Bro. Hey man, this is why you can't eat at every establishment. This is one reason you can't eat at every establishment. Yesterday we went to dinner. We went to this place called Papa Do's. The food was great. But um I don't know if I was being picky. Dad bought us 
a cup of water. So I drank my water. And then the guy was walking around with a pitcher, and he was refilling the water. So he's refilling my water, but he's talking to us. And um, I don't know. I just I, I ain't feel comfortable drinking the water after that. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that when they make your food, they talking over your food too. But you was in my presence, so I felt as though it was it was some spit boulders might have went inside my water, and I just didn't feel comfortable drinking that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a flavored Kool Aid that I ain't feel like drinking. Am I being picky? That I like I really feel uncomfortable when people talk over my food. If you, especially like if the waitress or waiter brings my shit and they asking me. Uh, do you need anything else? No. No, I don't. Like, just, why are you talking over my food? Again, that's me being picky. Because I'm pretty sure you can't see when people make your food. You can't see what they do to your food behind closed doors before they bring it to you. But, you know, if I see it, then <laughs> best believe. Now, <laughs> okay, I didn't drop my lighter. I'm sorry. Um, under normal circumstances, like if that was my girl. Or if I didn't know who that female was, I would have been like, oh, okay, I see y'all. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to say I see y'all. Because two dudes double dipping uh, um, Oreos in the same milk, that's a little that's a little questionable. Be honest, two dudes double dipping Oreos in the same milk is a little questionable, okay? But, um, yeah, that's Selena Powell. I wouldn't double dip nothing in that. Period. <sighs> Next video. Pass out my motherfucking car. Get out. Get the f out my car now. Get the f out my car. Get the f out my car. Get the f out my car. Hey. Shout out to her for being brave to, uh, you know, going and stand up to that young man that's trying to steal her car. But at the same time, you had to be very careful. I am very thankful that even though I live in a city where that is prominent, where kids are breaking into cars, I have one of them cars that people like to steal. And I am very, knock on wood, I am very thankful that nobody has tried to steal my car. I am very thankful that I have not been in a situation where I'd have to pull my gun out. Because I'm not going to lie, in a situation like that, I'm slapping him with my pistol. I'm slapping him. I don't. <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna shoot him, but I'm a slap. I'm slapping him with my pistol, especially if like he probably didn't even see her coming. Beep. I'm keeping it real because you know how hard I work, man. I'm finna have a moment, but you know how hard people work, bro. For you to just come steal they stuff so you could joyride around for ten minutes and then crash the car. Come on, son. Like, they be having car meets out here. They be stealing people cars. Like, I seen one joint where they stole somebody's car. They brought it to the little car meet. And they was just slamming the car into, like, other cars. Then they, they try to light it on fire. Come on, bro.